All right, so I don't really know what I'm looking to make this time. I think for this one, I'm going to do my best impression of Southside from when I was like 17 years old. So I'm just going to open FL Studio and just see what I come up with. Maybe I should have thought about what to make before I pressed record, but when I'm really struggling to make melodies, I often end up opening up Keyscape. So I've got up my favorite piano and I'm just going to see what I can come up with it, basically. I'm going to set the BPM to roughly 130. I heard this really nice piano riff a long time ago. I think it was on Splice. I haven't really managed to find the sample though, so I think I'm just going to try and remake it by ear. Okay, I got the root notes down. It's more luck than I was having a second ago, to be fair. I do not have the brain functionality to come up with the next phrase here. I think it sounds pretty cool, but I just don't really like the sound of the velocities right now. I think it's not as obvious for people who don't play the piano at all, but I really try and imagine like what my hands would be doing as I'm trying to play the melody that I'm programming. I'm almost programming like mini crescendos into the melody, and I think it sounds okay, I'm not too sure. It's a pretty simple melody to be fair. I think the swells give it something extra. Although now I think it might be time to try out some new technology. I can't lie, I've been gassed to try this pack out for like two weeks. So of course the man himself came in clutch again and he sent me his Yokai Creative Kit. And I've seen so many sick Instagram stories and YouTube videos of people cooking up with this. And I knew I wanted to record with it, so I haven't really looked it up too much. But now I think it's finally time to do something with it. Of course, big up Jack once again for sending me the pack. Let's just see what I can do with it. Okay, thank God there's English here because I have no idea what any of this means. My Nihongo is nowhere near Jozu enough for this. Ah, oh, but what is this? I'm still I'm not used to having like one folder I can open and then there's like 50 more in the kit. I feel like I have to use that. I think I'm working in D minor, so I'm just going to decrease this by two semitones. Ooh. Needs a couple more phrases, I reckon. So far, I'm really liking the ethnic layers folder. I might try the vocal layers folder as well. Okay, I'm going back to the safety of the ethnic layers folder. I feel like I'm gonna do the thing again where I add way too many and they can't mix them properly. I'm gonna have to choose wisely which ones I pick from now on. use this piano motif in the second part of the melody as well. But I think because there's a chord change, I'm going to change the final note of the melody. So I think I'm going to separate this part and make it unique. I'm going to increase it by like three semitones. I think instead of trying to use this organically, I'm just going to reverse it and then put it at the very end of the phrase. And I think that's enough. I don't really want to add too much else, but there's just way too much going on. So I think I need to mix it down and then I think I'm happy to add some drums. I 
noticed this most people are making trap beats with this kit. So I'm gonna switch up for this one. I'm gonna make a drill beat. Okay, I think it's sounding good. I think there may have to be a couple of changes in the melody. So I'm slightly concerned that there's too much going on in the beat. It's gonna take a while, so real quick, I'm gonna mix everything down and arrange it, and then we can listen to the final beat. I think I'm finally finished mixing and arranging the beat. I think maybe trying to flip the sample into a drill beat was maybe an ambitious decision. I, I don't know. Basically, I think this beat might be slightly suspect. I'm just gonna give it a final listen real quick. I think it sounds better than I thought. I think because of the high BPM, it feels like the drums are almost speeding up the melody, which is not great. I feel like one way to resolve that would be to duck the BPM by like three or four beats, but I don't know, bro. Like I'm a traditionalist, so I keep drill at 140 BPM most of the time. Oh, just thought I'd mention real quick. On the channel, we recently hit 4,000 subscribers. Big number, bro. Like that is a lot of zeros. One might say even too many zeros. So because of that, I thought I'd say a quick thank you for all the support on the channel recently. And of course, for all the kind comments and messages as well. But of course, thank you for watching. And hopefully, if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. And of course, if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe big thank you to prod by jack once again for making this video possible i'm gonna play the final beat now and we can see what i can do better for next time